Today I'm going to take you through a 30 minute full body barbell and dumbbell workout focusing on tempo training. For this workout I'll be using a 30 kilo barbell that's about 66 pounds total weight and one pair of 9 kilo dumbbells that's about 20 pounds each but make do of what you've got and whatever's right for you. First up though, let's kick off this workout with a brief bodyweight warm-up. This warm-up consists of four exercises, 30 seconds each for two rounds, linking one straight into the other. We're gonna start nice and simply with some pause squats. So if you start with your feet up shoulder width apart and follow my tempo. So we're gonna go four counts down. One, two, three, four. Pause for three, two, one, two up and then straight back down. One, two, three, four. Pause for three, two, one, two up. And then one more time. One, two, three, four. Pause for three, two, one, and back up. Okay, now just circling the arms forwards. Don't worry about the tempo for this one. Let's just get the shoulders moving. and change direction. Next up, I'm gonna do some good mornings. I'm gonna do a similar tempo. So hands behind the ears, you wanna hinge. One, two, three, four, pause for two. One, two, and then two back up. And repeat, so four seconds down. Two second pause, two seconds back up, no pause at the top and repeat. We've got four down, two at the bottom, two up, and then none. Let's just do one more rep, finish the rep. Okay, now we're going to go into a Y raise, so hinge at the hip, come up. Don't worry too much about tempo on this, just staying smooth and controlled, even pace on the way up even pace on the way down. You're looking for a relatively horizontal torso position. Straight elbows, thumbs turned out slightly, making a Y shape with your torso. Straight back to squats. So four counts down. Three second pause at the bottom. Two up, no rest at the top. So tempo is all about maintaining time under tension. So when your muscles aren't under tension, so at the top, we're gonna minimize any time. And when they're under maximum tension, like now, we're gonna maximize that time. Circling forwards. And backwards. So the tempo on this one's gonna be four down, two pause, two up. So four down, pause for two, up for two, nothing at the top. Four down, pause for two, up for two, and repeat. Into those Y raises, just even pace on the way up, even pace on the way down, holding your body relatively horizontal, keeping straight elbows, Engaging the posture muscles of the upper back. Okay, so load up your barbell. We're gonna be doing some cyclist squats. I'm actually gonna elevate my heel for these. So if you've got a spare plate available to use as a heel elevation, even use a book or two books if you're at home and we're going to do 40 seconds on 
20 seconds off the three rounds in this first section. And then with the dumbbells, I'm gonna use nine kilos, that's 20 pounds each. But use whatever's right for you. So for these cyclist squats, we can use a narrow stance, heel elevated, bar on your back, get ready to go. So we're going four seconds down, two second pause at the bottom, two up, no rest at the top. So four down, two pause at the bottom, two up, no rest at the top. We're really trying to emphasize not locking out for too long at the top. Just gonna to maintain that time under tension, giving you optimal results. Nice and deep for that two second pause. Knees can go over the toes, that's fine. As long as you keep good pressure of the heels as well. Always finish your rep. Gonna switch over to the dumbbells now. We're gonna do something called a Zotman curl. Tempo wise, I'm gonna go two up. I'm gonna turn the hands over at the top and do three down. So one, two, turn over, and then three, two, one, down. Twist it back. One, two, twist over, three, two, one, and down. Let's repeat that tempo. Technique tip wise for that, we want elbows tucked in nice and tight, especially when you pronate over like this. It's tempting to chicken wing the elbows out. We wanna keep them tucked in nice and tight. Great job. Okay, back to the barbell. We're gonna do some Romanian deadlifts. But we're gonna do four counts down, two second pause, two counts up, and then a little glute squeeze at the top. So we're going one, two, three, four, pause, one, two, one, two up, squeeze the glute and repeat. So four down, two counts at the bottom, two up, little squeeze of the glutes and repeat. So nice and slow. Pause for two at the bottom, two up, glute squeeze and repeat. So you're gonna hinge the hips back, keep the upper back pulled in nice and tense. The barbell's traveling super close to the body. Let's finish this rep, don't worry about the timer. Go four down, two pause, squeeze through and back up. Okay. Lying on your back now, you don't need any equipment. Just do body weight, do leg raises. Okay, and four counts down. So one, two, three, four, pause for one, two up, and straight into it. So we have four down, one second pause here, two up, no rest at the top. So we've got that nice, slow, controlled, lowering phase, brief pause, and then back up. So we're pausing in the most challenging part of the exercise, increasing the difficulty. We're really focusing on not arching your lower back off the mat, so only go as low as you can support flat. Let's finish this rep off. Great job. So there's one of three rounds done. So if you need to change the weight, pause the video, you might want to go up a bit, you might want to go down a bit, but make sure you're able to do these sets with a nice controlled tempo. So we'll be starting back with that cyclist squat. So heel elevated, relatively narrow stance. And we're going to keep a very upright posture for these as well. Four down, two at the bottom, two up, 
no rest at the lockout. That's going to be the big challenge on this, is being disciplined with not resting on the lockout. So I am going full extension at the top, but as soon as I feel my legs lock out, I'm going to break that tension at the knees, coming down for four, being strict with my pause. It's actually easier to pause as you get more flexible, which is a little cruel, because pausing halfway down is actually harder. Grab those dumbbells for the Zotman curls. Tempo, we've got two up, three down, and a brief moment to twist at the top and bottom. So one, two, twist. One, two, three. And repeat that tempo. I find once I've counted maybe two reps using that tempo, I can tend to just guess the tempo for the rest of the reps without having to count in my head. Squeeze the biceps at the top, elbows tucked during that reverse curl, lowering phase. Finish your rep rather than worrying too much about the beeps. Great job. Onto that Romanian deadlift. So this is almost straight legs. And a hinge at the hip. So although my knees are slightly unlocked, I'm trying to keep a nice straight leg angle. Feeling a good hamstring stretch. Tempo wise, we're four down on this. Two, three, four, with two seconds at the bottom. With two counts up, little squeeze of the glutes, and repeat. Let's finish the rep. Lying on your back for those leg raises. Four counts down. We're gonna go one second pause in the hardest bit, two up, and then repeat. Technique tips, don't arch your lower back off the floor as you lower. It's okay to bend your knees slightly, but try and keep whatever bend you've got at your knees consistent throughout the rep. And your head can be on or off the floor and you can hear my voice shaking under the tension. Great job, two down. One to go, and then we'll be repeating the same format in the second strength section, but giving you four new exercises. I'll be using the same weight though. So starting back with those cyclist squats. The very upright squat position Big bend of the knees, closing off the shoelace to shin angle as much as possible. It's called a cyclist squat because it really works. A muscle called your VMO and your quad muscles that's quite dominant in cycling. But your VMO is great for overall knee support. So it's an important one to strengthen up. Tempo wise, we've got four counts down, two at the bottom, two counts up, and then nothing at the top.
two up, twist, three down. Two up, twist, three down. Back to the barbell for that four, two, two, one tempo. When it comes to reading tempo in a plan, the first number is your eccentric phase, so the lengthening of the muscle. The second number is where the there's a pause at the end of that eccentric phase or not. The third number along is going to be your concentric shortening phase, the contraction. And the other number is whether, the fourth one is whether there's a pause or not at the end of the concentric shortening phase. It's a little confusing sometimes, but if you get a good program and you get used to it, you should have some tempo written within it. We've got four down, one pause, two up, zero at the top. So four, one, two, zero. Great job. So we're gonna take a 60 second break now. We're gonna use the same weight for the next section. We're gonna do four new exercises. Still doing 40, 20 intervals for three rounds. We got a brief chance to grab some water. We'll be starting the next section with a wide barbell floor press. If you've got a bench, feel free to do a bench press instead. And this series, this workout is actually part of a longer barbell series called the Lift 2.0 series. It's 16 30 minute workouts over four weeks. So if you're not already on that, check that out after this workout. You can download your free program guide within the description of this video. So we're going four seconds down, no pause, two seconds up, no pause. So we've got four down, no pause at the bottom, two up, no pause at the top. So the key on this one really is not resting on the floor and not resting at the lockout. Therefore, maximizing the time under tension, controlling the lowering phase, so it should take about twice as long to go down as it does to go up. Always finish your rep. I'm going to stick with the barbell. I'm going to do a snatch grip deadlift. And we're actually going to pause for two seconds just below the kneecap on the way up. So pause below the knee for one, two, up to the top, and then slowly down, or pause below the knee, one, two, down to the floor. Reset your shoulder blades, or pause below the knee, one, 
two, all the way up, slowly down, or it's just below the knee, back to the floor. And reset whatever position you start in, just before you lift off the floor, should be the same torso angle that you're going to pause in. Finish your wrap. Okay, next up we're going to do some dumbbell flies. Now you can do these on the floor, or if you've got something to prop your back up, like a cushion, or you've got a weight to bench, these are probably best done on that. So you're going to open out nice and wide. You try a nice slow eccentric phase, pause and stretch and back up. So we got four out, two, three, four, one second pause, two counts up, and then nothing at the top. So you don't need to rest at the top of the movement. So we have a nice slow lengthening of the muscle, a brief pause when we're at full stretch, two up, and then no rest. Let's finish this wrap. Okay, you're gonna keep both dumbbells. I'm gonna do a dumbbell pullover with a similar tempo, doing four, one, two, zero. You've got hexagonal dumbbells, you can jam them together. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then one, two. If you're on a bench, you get a bit of a bigger range of motion, but this can be done on the floor. It will just shorten the range you can do. So again, four out, one second, and then two back. High tension exercise. Struggling to talk for this one. Great job. So there's all four exercises. If you need to change the weight, feel free to pause the video if you want to go a bit heavier or a bit lighter, or if you want to grab a cushion or a bench or something to prop your back up to give yourself a slightly better range of motion on those flies and pullovers. Get ready to go with that wide grip floor or bench press. So we've got four down, no rest at the bottom, two up, no rest at the top. So tempo wise, this would be four zero two zero. Sticking with the barbell, going for that snatch grip. So that basically just means taking a wide grip on the bar. You're going to deadlift. And we're going to do a two second pause on the way up and the way down. Feel free to reset your back position when it's on the floor each time. Aim for your starting back angle to be same as the pause angle. Grab the dumbbells. If you've got something to either lie on or prop your back up. Grab that, we're going for those dumbbell flies. 
and four out. One pause on the stretch, two up, no pause at the top. Onto the pullovers with the same tempo. Great job, there's two rounds done, just one to go and that's the workout complete. Two up, four down. And we're trying to be strict with only locking out at the top for a split second and then only having contact with the floor with a split second. If you're on a bench, just keep coming until the bar gently touches your chest. If you're on the floor, just keep lowering until your elbow gently touches the floor. From a bird's eye view down, your elbow should be tucked in slightly, making more of a shallow arrow shape than a T-shape with your torso. Onto that snatch grip deadlift. Two seconds just below the knee and then two seconds on the way down. And then taking a reset each rep. Four down, one at the bottom, two up, nothing at the top. You don't even need to bring the dumbbells that close together. There's no tension at the top for these. So you don't want to overextend your shoulder. So only go as far as you're comfortable with. You don't need to come too far in the middle. These are great with cables as well. 
but most people haven't got cables at home. So the dumbbell fly is still a good option. Maybe not quite as good as cables, but better than not doing them at all. Same tempo. Final set of the workout. Four down, brief stretch, two up, no rest at the top. And that's it, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that and where in the world are you following along from? Here's the next day in that Lift 2.0 series. And here's a quick cool down stretch if you wanna do that. Now, if you're not already on the Lift 2 barbell series, then check out your free program guide, which you can download in the description of this video. And I'll see you again soon for another workout.